Hello and welcome to Operation Crypto and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at Reef Finance. We'll have a look at some of the key statistics first and then do some price analysis. Have a look at some potential areas that you could invest and some targets going forward. First up, please make sure you do hit that like button that you are subscribed to my channel and let's crack on. So this will be the second video I have done on Reef before. The first video was a, an explanation about the project. And this time we'll be doing some price analysis and just running over some of the key statistics. So we're doing about Reef is ticker Reef. It is ranked 164 out of all crypto currencies. And today we have a token price of 0.04736. If you look at the explorers, we do know that it is an ERC20 token. So any of the information um, with regards to transactions and holders, you can see all that information here. As you can see, Binance is holding 54% of the entire supply. Huobi's got a fair old chunk of it's split down into, I mean, you could say the top 15, 16 are all exchange wallets. We have got, around 10,680 holders and we've currently done 46,000 transfers so going back to coin market cap the total supply here is wrong i will show you a document in a second which does give you an accurate supply figure um, if we look at the markets the main place to get this is binance it is getting 65 percent against usdt and a further 16 percent there so you're talking it's getting around 80 percent of the entire market value um, uh, volume, sorry, on Binance. If you just scroll down, we're on um, 21 different places. So if you're looking to get hold of it, there's a fair few with um, high exchange um, confidence. We are on Uniswap, Bilaxi, and One Inch. I would stay away from Uniswap and One Inch at the moment. To be honest, the um, the fees on the Ethereum network are ridiculous. We need um, ETH 2.0 to sort itself out and and be up and get in place. So one key point here is at all time highs. And that was 0 0.054, so that's 5.4 cent. And that was two days ago when we are slightly down, 13% down from that. But I would expect the early investors to be taking profits. Um, so that does bring the market cap today to $143 million. The next pr thing I want to show you is this document here. You may not have seen it before, but this is the Reef Economic Model. It is worth noting here, if you look to the, let's just move that across a little bit. I move my head across. Can we move me? Yeah, there we go. So this is the the reef document here, and you can see the total supply is twenty billion reef. Uh, as you can see, initial circulating supply is just shy of twenty percent of the total supply. So you can see all information about the project here. I will drop this link um, in the description of this video so you can see exactly what we want on. You can see the strategic, the private and the seed sales all up here. And then you can see all other information. So the team uh, are allocated 3.2 billion, ecosystem partners 2.1 billion and we have a reserve of 3.8 billion. Uh, and that was everything in there. So um, that is all the information. Do do not take into consideration what Coin Gecko or Coin Market Cap says. Um, this document is um, pretty much exactly what they have. So that is all the key stats and information about Reef. We'll have a look at some price analysis now, and have a look at some potential areas that you could invest and some targets going forward. We will take a look at both the USDT and the BTC pairings. We have the two pairs that are getting uh, most of the volume and they're both on Binance. So this is Reef versus Tether, the four hour time frame on Binance. As you can see, this was the all time high. So we will mark that up now. Um, we just have to be aware that we do not have a ton of data. This has only been trading since uh, the 29th of December. So we haven't got a lot of data, but that is the all time high. So we'll just change that to a, um, a red ATH. That's for that. Change the colour of the line quickly. So that is the um, all-time highs there, and that will give us a target to go for in the future. What we need to first up do is start looking at some potential areas that you could invest. And for this, you could say that we drop from the highs to this level. We have started to push back up, so this could be a good area to put a Fibonacci on. And so from the bottom, this here on the 12th of February, up to the top, which was then um, pretty much today. Uh, we have double tapped this 618 level 
to pretty much to exact T. So that could be another area that we could potentially place some orders to invest. I mean, you may have missed it already, but we have wicked down here twice already. Um, so the chances are that you could fill some orders at 0 0.044509. What I also think could potentially happen um, if the market does get a drop or we do get some big sell-offs, then you could potentially fill some orders on the 0 0.786 level, which is 0 0.042051. So there are two potential areas that you could invest. I mean, uh, the chances are, are quite high because we have wicked down here twice already um, and we pop back up. So have some orders there and it could get snapped up pretty quick. So that's some potential buy orders there on them two levels. I will just iron up there. It looks like we are forming a bit of a bullish pendant. So if you take the, the top of a move from here down there, and then we take the um, the next leg, you could say from up here, you could say we are forming a bullish pendant. Uh, and the chances that we could break out from that very, very soon, you could drag it all the way down to there and it would still work. So let's just place it on there. I think the chances are that we are potentially coming to a breakout. Uh, the same happened with Zillica earlier on. We did have a bullish pendant and things broke to the upside uh, and then we did start to target new highs. So that's what I'm looking for. What I also want to do now is just put the Fibonacci on from the lower levels down here and have a look at some Fib extensions for potential targets. So if we put that on from, top, um, from the bottom to the top and then start looking at some of these Fib levels, I do use the minus levels here so i think these are the next two areas to target so we have negative 0 0.27 so i think that if we do break out of this um bullish pendant then there's a chance that we could break up and then target this level here at 0 0.06366 i think that could be the first area to target uh, the chances are if we pop up there we might reject come back down to previous all-time highs and then hit some liquidity and then push on but that is my first level to pretty much target um f i mean if you're looking to accumulate i do think that we will hit 10 cent more in the course of the next few weeks if we just mark up 10 cent it is a nice round number um just be wary though if you do put some sell orders in um put them at about 9.9 .9 cent because people always try and front run you and it, it might not quite make it there but that is my first target for reef um I do think that with the 20 billion supply, that is a total supply. We only have 7.1 billion in circulation. So I do believe that, I mean, this could really, really pick up. We've seen what Ave's done. If we just take a look at Ave um, on CoinMarketCap. Where is it? There we go. So Ave, if we look at this, this has a, um, this has 12 billion circulation. Sorry, 12 million. Look where that's gone, $507. So I do think that we can make a move like Ave, but we just need to be wary of what's going on in the market. Um, Reef is a very, very new project, part of a Polkadot ecosystem, which will even make it even better. Polkadot's on a massive run. So I do think that things will start to look good very, very soon, and we can start to target 10 cent. So that's some buy zones there at... Um, uh, 0 0.044 and 0 0.042 and then the first target is to break through 6.3 cent and then 10 cent is the next major target once we do break above 10 cent i will jump into some more price analysis and have a look at um, where we can head um, next one have a look at the reef btc pair i know people do trade in the btc pair so let's have a quick look at that where is it on my list? Here we go. Reef BTC. Let's just get rid of this previous TA because that is no longer valid. That was a buy zone I um I targeted and then it popped up and it looks great. So that is um over and done with now. So let's have a look at some potential buy zones here in the um BTC price. So we'll take the fib from this bottom level here. We have had a double top, you could say a tweezer top, and then we have started to reject. Again, we have tapped to 618 level at 95 Satoshis. So I do believe that could still be, in fact, we've hit it twice there, one, two. So I think that could be the next area if you're looking to fill some up in BTC. Target 95 sats and also have a look at 90 Satoshis could be um, another level to, to potentially buy. I think anything under 100 sats. Is a cracking level. So, um, where have we been? We've been up to 122 Satoshis all time high. Next major target for me is hitting 200 sats. I think once we do push up to 200 sats, I will do some more analysis um, 
on reef and have a look at some new levels. So that is the first target to go for in a BTC perspective. And when we do hit that, if we hit 200 sats or um, 10 cent, whichever comes first, I will do some price analysis on them and have a look at some new levels that we can target. So that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully we can see BTC start to drop soon. We need to see um, BTC dominance continue to drop if we look at this on a weekly time frame zoom right out we have lost this level of support for btc dominance at 62 percent the next area of support is 57 percent for btc once we do lose that level alts will absolutely fly you think we've flown already for the future is going to be absolutely solid if we do lose this level for btc dominance anything below 57 percent alts will absolutely fly so that's going to do it for today's analysis um, if you have any questions or any um, projects you'd like me to check out and jump into my telegram group which is the crypto troops you will find the link in the pinned comment and the description uh, please also make sure you do like this video that you are subscribed to my channel and i'll catch you next time